Welcome back. So in working with the Raspberry Pi Pico and trying to figure a way to save power, I ended up bricking my uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. Essentially, I made it useless to use. And how I did this is I created a Python script that ran the deep sleep mode, but did not give me enough time in between it to make changes. So I was able to uh, use the boot select to add a new program like the default blink program. But every time I added MicroPython back onto it, it found the files that I had on there. So we'll start uh, looking at something similar to what I had uh, done. So even if you reflash your Pico with a new UF2 file, what you're going to get is that it's still going to retrieve the root directory and find any files. So let's take a look at what this file is. This is this is just a simple um, program. And this is running light sleep, which did not give me a problem. When I changed it to deep sleep, that is where um, the problem arrives. So, or deep sleep, not depth sleep. So um, this is me still trying to work on how to correct this by maybe adding a uh, regular sleep function in there uh, instead of the deep sleep function always working. Um, if you've been following my temperature probe project, you'll see where I may have added this. Um, I still don't know exactly where, but instead of the regular sleep, I was going to use the deep sleep. There are other ways of uh, doing it, and I was able to get some um, some accurate uh, workings. Um, as you can see here with this test, I am not using the uh, standard uh, true. I'm running it through an iteration. And then I'm turning on the LED so I know that it is uh, completed. So these were just some uh, tests that I was uh, running. I'm not going to save the changes. So this Pi board directory is what is saved. So now what I had done is I created this test uh, script, not this one, a different one. I It ended up getting destroyed when I did this process. But then I, um, I had to clear the flash memory, and I'm going to show you how I did that. But first, I'm going to take this Pi board test, and I am going to save it as test light.py in the default directory, which will be saved in here so I can use it for future use. So to do this, I need to unplug the Raspberry Pi Pico, hold down the boot select, and plug it back in. And then once I release it, it will uh, show up on uh, the uh, as a mounted drive. It hasn't mounted yet because this is my previous attempt. For some reason, my Raspberry Pi doesn't unmount them. And I there it is, the USB 1. Now, uh, this is an old version of the uh, Pico Micro Python. I believe they have one from June 18. But for this uh, working, this will work. This uh, file will work. So if you see here, I have this flash nuke UF2 file, and I found this on an uh, Adafruit or Adafruit uh, website. I'll include the link there. 
So now if I was to just copy this file over, it would just be like we had it before and that file would stay. So now if we were to copy this flash nuke to media USB one, this will erase anything in that directory plus the anything like the MicroPython or if you had a, a C or C++ program there. And this takes um, a few moments and when it's done, I believe it flashes the, uh, the LED. I did happen to see the LED flash the last time I ran this. So I don't know um, how long it uh, takes but I'm going to give it a little bit of time because I don't know if this uh, will cause an issue. Okay, and the light just flashed. And I'm not showing it on screen. You can imagine a light flashing. So now if I look, it's still showing those two drives. But if I, if I check the uh, USB 1 directory it's empty so now I need to go through and flash it one more time the same or flash using the boot uh, method so I'm holding down the boot uh, button connecting the USB and releasing and from here we have to just wait for it to go ahead and uh, mount the drive so now you see a USB 3 why it skipped USB 2? I'm not sure it did the same thing, come to think of it, when I did it last time. It just swapped, it switched over twice. So I don't know if it does something, mounts it, and then unmounts it. Don't know. This is something I found out of desperation when I realized that I had bricked the, uh, the Raspberry Pi Pico. So we're going to copy the uh, RP2. Uh, file and this is going to go to not USR media USB 3 so let that uh, run and then I have this uh, remote script um, it runs our shell if you have um, any uh, questions on that, I will include the link to the video where I discuss our shell and how it uh, works. But the editor I have defaulting is nano and the port is TTYACM0. So I'm going to run the dot .remote program. And if I list for Pi board, there is nothing. So this is how it's going to clear anything out of the memory if you come to the point where you accidentally created, say, a main dot uh, Pi file that is running amok now, or you did something else that you need to clear that directory now. This will delete all your other files, and I am glad I did not do this on the main Raspberry Pi that I had the uh, temperature probe project on. That I'm still running um, battery um, power tests on. This was just some, uh, I was uh, researching how to save some power on there, um, but keep a lookout for that video in this series where I discuss how I have the power and if I find a way to reduce the uh, power. I believe there was a video done by uh, DigiKey. Um, I can't find it right now, but if I do, I'll actually include it um, in the description of this video and the video where I uh, actually make some power modifications. But this is all I wanted to show you. I just discovered this recently, so I figured I'd make a quick uh, a quick video for it and post it in a couple days. And uh, keep an eye out uh, for uh, future uh, videos in this series. 
And this is this isn't really part of the series, just a little uh, sub uh, subtopic, but I will include it in the playlist. And you have a great day.